here's why we can't have nice things on the internet when it comes to going shopping. So I've just taken, as an example, this MagTame thing that somebody linked yesterday. And, uh, you know, new product, big sale, lots of prompts to take action, animations, an add to cart button that wiggles. Come on. So clearly, modern site, lots of marketing stuff. Ad blocker here, script blocker, and uh, script and element blocker. So you matrix is, I use this, is amazing. This gives you control over exactly all third party scripts, CSS image, um, XHR, iframes, and then other. So first of all, we have the first party site, cookies blocked. And uh, this is how I browse the web by default. It's actually, it's pretty incredible when you look at how much stuff gets loaded by a typical website. And um, shops and shopping carts are just full of stuff. So there's a certain amount of stuff here that's totally, I think that's legitimate. Uh, but so just taking a look at the domain list. So Avada, Avada.io, what's that? So, okay, here we go. Marketing automation platform. Here's, here's your cross selling. Here's your email. Here's all your, this is probably where the text messages come from, right? You give your email and then, oh boy, I don't think this helps you as a customer. So yuck. Uh, eComposer just looks like some sort of an, uh, editing tool, probably just for the shop of visual drag and drop thing. Doesn't, doesn't really apply to me. Um, so this, I think is another shop customization UI thing. Uh, this low buy button script, this is a third party injection thing they do. This looks just like it injects a bunch of CSS or buttons that appear styled like Amazon, Walmart, Tesco, which is a UK shopping thing, eBay, you name it. So it would appear that they're giving you ways to style buttons after lots of services, which is nice, I guess, convenient. And then there's a little bit of um, obfuscated JavaScript down here, which is kind of funny. It wouldn't take much to figure out what's going on, but I just think it's funny that it's been obfuscated. So um, another thing it loads, I can't even load this because it's blocked here at the DNS level, NF cube. So again, yeah, more Shopify app stuff. Who knows? And this one's probably one of the more gross ones, which is one click installation pixels. <sighs> Crucial customer behavioral data overcome iOS 14 challenges, blah, 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 blah. Yuck, right? Just more tracking, more crap that you don't need. So again, get your email, pop-ups and forms. Oh boy, very, oh, we got AI today, of course now, very exciting. All right, this site's not too bad. I could, I've definitely seen worse. That's kind of fun. So coming back to here quickly, just all this stuff. So marketing, Jim Static, I'm not sure about that. It might be email stuff. CloudFront's generally fine. eComposer's the editor. Extreme might be look up. Well, that's not going to help me. Shogun, sorry, no analytics for you. Google Static, fonts, that's fine. IP info, I wouldn't trust. Low buy button, meh. NFCube, meh. Shopify, I would ultimately clear this and say no to cookies until maybe the shopping cart bit. Their service to Shopify service is fine. And then Zalify, that's that email pixel junk. No thanks. So yeah, there you go. Yuck.